Ah, the Grill 15. Or the German Tier 10 TD. That you get once you've managed to grind it coming down the waffle tractor line. But, as many find out, it ain't a waffle tractor. So, let's have a look at the grill in depth. Hey, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. And today we're going to have a look at this little beastie of the Grill 15. Now, if you're like me, the Grill 15 is quite a tricky tank to play, especially when you play the Waffle Tractor, the Tier 9 tank, before this tank. Because that tank is just fantastic and it's a beastie. And this tank is a different type of play style, funnily enough. Yes, okay, they're both soft-skinned hulls with just a massive gun plonked on the top. But I always find that the Waffle Tractor plays a lot easier than the Grill. And why is that? Well, because this is a more finesse tank. That's why it's in Tier 10. Let's have a look at some of its bits and bobs. DPM is pretty bloody good. 3.3k a minute. I mean, that is pretty good. Reload time, well, it's a big hefty TD, so just under 12 seconds, it's 11 and a half seconds. That's long, but it's it's manageable. What about its penetration? Well, 293 on its normal AP, 367 on its heat, and 83 on its HE. All pretty, pretty good stuff. Damage output, 640 on its AP, 550 on its um, heat, and 960 on its HE. Again, pretty bloody good. Aim time, just over 3 seconds at 3.1. Dispersion's not too bad, and it's got, and it's got, well, uh, no gun depression, only 5 degrees, because, wow, look at it. What about its hit points? Well, it's got 1,800, it's soft skin, so don't expect much. Armor, <laughs> 30 mil at the front, 16 at the sides, and 20 mil at the rear. And the chance of fire when the engine is hit, 15%. Got a pretty decent view range, 260. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. But it does have pretty good camo and concealment. 53% when it's stationary, 40% when it's moving, and 7% when it's uh, firing. Top speed, well, you'll go 50 kilometers an hour forwards, 15 backwards, with an average speed of 36. So it's a pretty decent tank. But the thing is, it has got a beautiful gun. And it really does have a beautiful gun, as you can see there. The biggest difference between this and the Waffle Tractor is that this is a lot taller. It's a bigger tank. The Waffle Tractor is nice and squat and squitty. And when that, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a smaller target to hit. Whereas the grill, that turret, it's not really a turret, it's just a shield. That shield is pretty tall. And therefore, you make a very, very juicy and inviting target. But as with most German tanks. The thing about this is that gun. Okay, you're not dishing out Death Star levels of damage. You know what? 640 roll on your standard AP every 11 and a half seconds. That's pretty bloody good going. I like the grill, although I must admit I do. Do struggle with it because I prefer the WT because I'm used to the WT. That's not to say that the grill is a bad tank. Now a lot of people give this thing a bad name and in order for me to get better in this damn thing I watch a lot of Juicy Tender take, uh, juicy tender Steaks streams where he actually rolls out in the grill quite regularly and I get some nice little tips from him. Anyway here we are on Winter Milanovka and I've seen their lineup, so I think they're going to go to the B and the C cap. They haven't got that many light tanks to go down to the A cap. So I'm going to sit here on this corner. I like this corner because it gives you good, it gives you plenty of options. I mean, I can turn around and go down to A, I can cover B, and I can cover C if need be. That's why I like this corner. And this is why I like the grill. Boom! <laughs> Straight into the side of the crown wagon. And that's where the German engineering kicks in. Now, a couple of things you need to know about the grill. Um, if you're not running a spore liner, then, oh, what an ammo rack that was. Poor little E50. If you're not running the spore liner on this thing, then you need your head red. 
because every man and his dog knows that to smack you with HE is the way to go. So you need the spool liner to reduce that impact. And if you run that, trust me, it really does help. So if you haven't got a spool liner involved, get your paws on it and get it loaded. Goodbye, T54. Thank you for playing. Go back to the garage. The grill does, however, need a bit of nurturing. It needs a little bit of TLC. You can't stick this thing out in the open. You're just going to get wrecked every way until Sunday because it is a soft skinned tank. You've got to know the maps. You've got to know the good locations to put this little TD to give the most support. And more importantly, you've got to know your points of cover. It's a sniper. You shoot, you move. Simple as that. Relocation with the grill is really critical. Don't just sit at the back of the map and camp because once you're spotted and the guns are trained on you, it will hurt a lot. Hence the reason why in this game you can see me moving around the map once I'm spotted, changing those positions, trying to get the tank moving so nobody gets a bead on me. And that is what you need to be mindful of in the grill. So we've got two tanks left. We've already done three point something damage. We're gonna push down onto the Vickers now, bless him. He's, uh, he's been pretty out of it. He went down to the ACAP and the rest of the team went north. So he was sort of left out in the lurch. But we're gonna finish him off and we're gonna finish shy of 5K, which is, is low for a grill. It's only gonna get you a first class, not gonna get you anything spectacular. 5K, four kills, but I'm pretty happy with that game because the grill did its job and like i said i mean i do like the grill because i like the waffle tractor but it does take a little bit of getting used to because of the tallness of that shield which is a turret it's not a turret as i said it's a gun shield anyway i've been fujit i hope you enjoyed that it's just been a quick overlook at the grill i'm trying to keep my videos down to like a small amount of time because nobody watches them simple as that and if I did longer videos even less people would watch them even more simple anyway by all means comment everything below and if you haven't yet press subscribe why not it's a nice thing to do doesn't hurt you doesn't mean anything to you it doesn't take anything away from you and until the next time guys you know remember it's just a game and the idea of the game is to get better you know and you only get better after you lose and you learn from your mistakes so remember that don't get angry, don't get toxic, just stay safe, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because at the end of the day, that is what it is all about, having fun and being happy.